going to go through this uh, game that I've made up. Uh, it's basically a maze game and using the person character from the standard assets. So um, basically all I've started with is cubes and extend them out, colour them and arrange them in this pattern. And uh, I've added a few uh, models that I've downloaded. Uh, I've kept the character the same. So I'll just run through the gameplay before we go any further. So basically starting outside the maze. Um, if we look to the right here, we have three uh, gremlins or goblins. You've got to get through. I just downloaded those from the asset store for free. All the assets I've downloaded are for free. Uh, I need to go and get a little jewel here. So I've downloaded these. I think I've coloured them and just got a bit of a rotation to them. So when you um, collect them, it'll increase the score by one. Just get past these little goblins again. Working our way down into the maze. There should be another jewel up here somewhere. Controls could be a little bit better. Uh, where's our jewel? Uh, come up to some steps. Either I've made it a little bit easier to get up to the uh, little courtyard here. So in the courtyard we've got a little monster there that won't really do anything. I'm just going to jump up that last bit. Okay, so we've got another jewel here. The monster won't do anything. Uh, now my score is two. Now we have got to get back up out of the courtyard. So I made up a little lift um, script. So I should be able to just walk up onto the lift. So the lift is in this, in, in this script down here. Here's the sharp script just down the bottom here as well as my other materials and bits and pieces as well. So I'm just going to try to get out of here. So if I run up on the... Let's try that again. Just a little bit of a jump this time. Let's wait for the lift to come down. Uh, let's try it again. I'm just going to pause that for a sec. Okay, I've sort of got back onto the wall again there and down the stairs. And if I come down to this part here, what you'll find is I've made a little gate that sort of uh, goes in and out in sort of like a crushing motion. Uh, it won't actually do anything at this stage, but it's basically the same as the lift that I made in the last scene, but basically it's going horizontally rather than vertically, exactly the same script as a few modifications. So I can run through there and then I can get out into the open. So that's basically how the game runs.